Hi friends, last video we have discussed about steps of small incision cataract surgery. In this video we will discuss about uh, the steps of phaco emulsification surgery again with the help of a video. So let us uh, again go to the PowerPoint, our PowerPoint presentation first. So as I told you, these are these steps are uh, common in all types of cataract surgery. Okay, so what is the difference between SICS and FECO? Basically, the incision size in FECO emulsification will be smaller as compared to small incision surgery. In small incision surgery, usually we make around seven, six to seven millimeter of external incision and nine to ten millimeter of internal incision. Whereas in FECO emulsification, the incision size is just around 2.8 uh, millimeter. Uh, capsulotomy is the same in both uh, types of uh, surgeries. The nucleus management, uh, as you have seen in the last video, we prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber and then we remove the nucleus in um, by, we remove the nucleus outside the eye by using wire vectors in SICS. Whereas the main difference between SICS in FECO is that here we don't remove the nucleus, but we insert a machine, a probe or let's FECO emulsification probe that uses, uh, that has got a piezoelectric crystal at the handpiece has got a piezoelectric crystal, which uh, makes the tip of the FECO vibrate at the speed more than the speed of sound. And that's why energy is created. And with this energy, FECO energy or FECO power, we just emulsify the nucleus and then we aspirate the nucleus. So, FECO mein humko nucleus bahar nahi nikalna hai. Hum kya karte hai? FECO probe ke saath jate hai aur usko wahi ke wahi kha jate hai aur kya emulsify karte hai. Then, irrigation and aspiration is also same. Here, the incision size in FECO is small. So, normal intraocular lens haptic, the, the optic size is around 6 millimeter. So, we need to enlarge the incision, but that we don't do. We make we implant a foldable lens. So, what We fold the lens uh, and then we, with the help of injector, we inject the lens and the lens gets unfolded in the eye. So, that is the one more difference between FECO and SIC that we use foldable lens. So, these are the three critical differences between FECO and small incision that the incision size is smaller and then we emulsify the nucleus and we implant a foldable lens. So with this uh, background information, let us now go to the video. So uh, before uh, starting this video, this also I have taken this video from YouTube only. So here, here we see that you observe the eyes, friend. The eyelids are moving slightly so that the, we can know that the patient is not under peribulbar anesthesia. We are using the topical anesthesia is being used here. Okay, so let us start the video. So this is a side port entry with the side port knife. Here now a dye is being injected into the eye to stain the entry capsule. That we are staining the entry capsule with the tripan blue dye. Then, uh, of course, everything has become blue, so we have to wash out this uh, excess dye. Yes, now we can see that the entry capsule has become bluish in color. Then, visco is being injected to form the anterior chamber, viscoelastic agent. Some visco is being put on the eye also, so to make the cornea clear. Then, another entry is being made into uh, the cornea. And this is the main entry. See, this is just 2.8 millimeter entry, right? Again, the incision here is replanar. So we are entering here and I mean, so we are not entering exactly at the point of entry. There is a small tunnel also. The next step is again the CCC or continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Here, uh, a small nick is being made into the entry capsule and uh, this flap is now then uh, managed with the help of forcep that forcep is called as deuterata forcep so 
the CCC is not completed entirely by the needle here. But uh, capsulotomy needle here, but uh, this uterata forceps is used to fashion the or make the flap of the entry capsule, and it is now being removed. Right. See now, this hydro dissection is being performed. Uh, saline is being injected underneath the anterior capsule to move, to move the nucleus we, we want the nucleus to be mobile uh, before starting with hypoemulsification right so let us just pause here so now uh, once this step once the nucleus is freed the nucleus has to be free then how do you check that the nucleus is free we rotate the nucleus with the help of sinski hook in, of course inside the capsular bag so the nucleus has to be uh, free from the adhesions with the anterior capsule once we are sure about that we rotate the nucleus adequately then we uh, start FECO now friends there are innumerable FECO techniques uh, which are being employed now uh, to do FECO emulsification the, but the basic funda is that we have to we have to re emulsify the nucleus into the capsular bag only so if we just want to uh, eat the nucleus in total, it will be very difficult and time consuming affair and it will, in, it will uh, require a lot of FECO energy also. So what basically we do is we break the nucleus into various pieces, um, small pieces and then we eat each and every piece. So that is the basic technique of FECO. So sometimes uh, what we can do, we make us, we make a here, we make a trench trench banate bogda banate we make a trench into the nuclear matter and some sometimes we make one trench or sometimes we make uh, two trenches and then we separate the trench and divide the nucleus into four pieces two pieces or four pieces so this is called as and then we eat each piece each uh, each piece separately so this is called as divide and conquer technique or four quadrant technique means we are dividing the nucleus into four pieces and we are eating each piece separately then there is something called a stop and chop technique in which we make only two we make a single trench we divide the nucleus into two pieces and then what we do is we just engage the nucleus with the help of vacuum and we use a chopper a special instrument called a chopper to chop the pieces of the uh, hemi nucleus or half nucleus and we eat each and every piece again separately so this is called a stop and chop technique stop and chop first we make a trench we divide the nucleus into two halves and then we with the help of vacuum we engage the nucleus into the tip and we make uh, we make multiple pieces of that uh, half nuclear half and we eat uh, each of the piece so this uh, requires less energy as compared to divide and conquer and some nowadays uh, with the help of uh, with the advent of high end FECO emulsification machines we don't need to make trenches at all sometimes we just with the help of vacuum we hold the nucleus and we chop it into multiple pieces and we eat uh, these uh, chopped pieces so this is direct chop so these are the basic three methods by which we remove the nucleus so let us now go to the video so this is the FECO tip, right? This is the FECO tip which is uh, being in. So now this, uh, this uh, uh, the, he is making, he is eating the, so he is making a small trench here. Can you see the trench? And with the help of other instrument, he's just chopping the nucleus into two holes. So two holes are, uh, the nucleus is chopped into two holes. Then this uh, again, Two more pieces this uh, are made yes i hope you can see it clearly yeah so now the nucleus is divided into four pieces now each piece is now will be emulsified this uh, second instrument is very uh, very helpful in FECO. so this uh, with the with the help of left hand we manipulate the second instrument into the eye right mm -hmm. 
yes yes now the whole nucleus is uh, emulsified now only cortex uh, is remaining right so this uh, with the help of simco cannula he is aspirating the cortical matter So after uh, removal of uh, all cortical matter, then we have to put the lens. So in FECO, we are using foldable lens. So let us uh, first the uh, visco is injected into the anterior chamber. Now this is uh, basically a special, I mean, forceps or uh, what you can say, injector. Where uh, this is the cartridge of the lens, and we are folding the lens with the help of forceps. Now this uh, cartridge will go into the eye with the uh, help of injector. Let us see that. Yes. Now this uh, injector, uh, we are injecting, we are inserting the injector into the eye, and then we are just pressing with the help of the help our thumb so that the lens gets implanted. Now this is foldable lens. So now you can see that the lens will gradually unfold into the eye. And then we have to maneuver it inside the bag, just beneath the anterior capsule. So this is how uh, foldable lens uh, is being implanted. This is how we implant the foldable lens. So there are various types of foldable lenses are available and various types of injectors are also available. So now I will stop the video now. And again, um, switch over to our presentation. Yeah. So, which is the best surgery for uh, cataract? For cataract, the best surgery is FECO because the FECO is essentially a closed chamber surgery and uh, the astigmatism is uh, low in uh, FECO emulsification because the incision size is low and there is rapid uh, visual rehabilitation of the patient. Okay, these are the advantages of FECO over small incision surgery. Right. But uh, is small incision redundant or is it obsolete or is it out of date? No. There are various advantages of small incision also over FECO. It requires less instrumentation and because we don't require a FECO machine which is very costly uh, machine. Uh, so that it requires less instrumentation, less cost. And then in CAM settings uh, where we operate many patients per day, high volume surgeries, uh, this SICS uh, is possible and uh, it is a better alternative than FECO and it is uh, possible in all types, almost all types of cataracts whereas in very hard cataracts, black cataracts, uh, FECO is slightly risky because FECO, uh, it will require more energy, uh, FECO energy and more FECO energy means more corneal damage. So cornea get, may get, um, cornea may become uh, decompensated then the patient may develop a uh, pseudophagic bullous keratopathy so that is one uh, disadvantage of FECO and uh, it is very easy to learn and perform small incision as compared to FECO the learning curve is uh, less steep in SISs as compared to FECO the risk of nucleus drop is also less in small incision nucleus drop means what, sometimes what happens during cataract surgery the posterior capsule ruptures before uh, delivery of the nucleus or before removal of the nucleus 
and if the posterior capsular ring is larger in size the nucleus may fall into the vitreous cavity and this complication is less or uh, this the incidence of this complication is less in SICS than PICO. So that is uh, one, of, one advantage of SICS over PICO. So if you, if somebody asks you which is the best, best type of uh, cataract surgery, your answer should be PICO. But uh, these are, but SICS is also not far behind. So what are the disadvantages of SICS? Obviously the astigmatism will be more in SICS and the visual rehabilitation will also be slightly delayed because the incision size is more. So these are the advantages or disadvantages of SICS over FICO. So this ends uh, today's video. In the last video about cataract, we'll discuss about the complications of cataract surgery. Thank you, friends.